It was a mistake, this going our own way, not trusting the one who loved us into being. We see that now. The choice appeared wise, but the promised knowledge was poisoned by mistrust. You can know good from evil, become just like God. The betrayal appeared delicious, but we still choke on the bitterness it brought into this life he gave. We still abandon the Creator, suffocating on the staleness of our insurrection. We're on the outside now, looking in. The warmth and light and life we once had, a deep memory our hearts still crave, but we never seem to know. We are the collateral damage. The deafening roar of our defiant separation from life giver still wrecking our souls. Fear speaking louder than peace. Shame louder than trust. Fissures of doubt growing the space between us. Newfound desires claim the seat of influence. The desire to take instead of give. The desire to dominate and oppress. The desire to manipulate and hoard. Their mistaken choice has become our selfish stampede. We're out of control. Darkness reigns where there once was light. We need different words to speak our fallen reality. Broken words. Hopeless. Hungry. Desperate. Greed, betrayal, tears, death. His life-giving revelation has been reduced to our resignation. There's no way out alive. How could all this hurt be unbroken? Who could dry these tears, unmake our loss? Who could ever be worthy? So he came to write with truth upon the sacred scroll a new story. This sadness unremembered, this death removed, this life reborn. Our past, so tragic. Our present, tainted. But our future is so full of hope. And now, the time has come for us to sing a new song, to tell a new story, where His spent blood heals our hope, transforms this bitter wreckage into joy, where the lost are found, the hungry fed, the slaves set free, where death is destroyed, where the risen one the only Son of Heaven, God-Man, living proof of love, calls us home again to life. 